This is the very last big block Mustang that Ford ever built. Things change quickly in this world, and if you need proof, just ask this 1971 Mustang Mach 1. The Mustang was introduced just six short years before, but a 65 Mustang looks about a hundred years away from our 429 Super Cobra jet powered 71 Mach 1. Yeah, the Mustang grew up and much like many of the youthful owners who bought them new in 65. This 71 is a much more serious looking car with an aggressive long nose, sleek profile, and nearly flat rear glass. The proportions are all new with a look more like a high performance luxury yacht than an entry level runabout. And this one means business too. The optional 375 horsepower 429 Super Cobra Jet Ram Air V8 was a high strung machine, boasting an 11.3 to 1 compression ratio, twisting up 450 pound feet of torque. Those are big numbers for any car from the era, especially on the cusp of unleaded gas and skyrocketing insurance premiums. With the vast variety of high performance Mustangs built over the years, it's kind of hard to believe that Ford only installed the 385 series Super Cobra Jet 429 engine in these cars for one year. And this is the very last 429 Super Cobra Jet V8 ever installed in a Mustang. It's the last one to roll off the assembly line. Ford would never install another big block V8 in a Mustang again. It breathed through a 780 CFM carb and a solid camshaft and exhaled through dual exhaust. Superstock Magazine run one out to a 1397 quarter mile time at 100 miles an hour. And that was an automatic car with 350 to one rear gears. This one burns the 15 inch hides through a four speed transmission and a 391 traction lock differential, which also helps bring the car to Super Cobra Jet specs. 1971 Mustang styling was a big departure from the 1970 cars and it was met with mixed reviews because a lot of people didn't dig the larger overall size or the exaggerated proportions. I find it interesting that the most powerful Mustang didn't have louvers or a big wing on the back and that it's rolling on deep dish wheels with kind of boring looking hubcaps. These cars look speedy even if they were the biggest and heaviest Mustangs yet. The body colored spoiler like front bumper had a sleek fit and honeycomb grill inserts add race car appeal. The lower spoiler keeps air from stacking up under the car to improve high speed stability. And the medium blue looks great on this car with hood scoops peering out from a silver stripe which is echoed down the side of the car. Body colored racing mirrors are the only hiccups in the smooth lines as there is no rear wing or louvers and the door handles are flush. No doubt the black tail panel and molded exhaust tips were shown to many who dared to take this car on. Raised white letter tires wrap steel wheels with trim rings and hubcaps that Ford called smoothly surfaced for the no nonsense look of performance. Uh -huh. Tritone blue bucket seats cradle the riders, both front and rear, and a Hurst four speed shifter is planted in a short blue consolette. The black dash faces are all business, but wood grain on the dash and doors breaks up the black. Big gauges face the driver, and a trio of smaller ones perch above the AM FM radio. It's a comfortable cockpit for sure, albeit a bit hard to see out of the rear flat glass. The new 71 design didn't help the Mustang's downward sail slope after the 1966 peak year. Now granted, 66 was a huge year, selling over 600,000 cars, but only 149,000 buyers drove new Mustangs home in 71. Sales would stay flat until the new Mustang II came out in 1974, which saw 384,000 sales, a number not since topped. 
Just 613 429 Mach 1s were built for 71. And it's interesting to note that 71 was the only year the 385 series 429 engine was ever installed in a Mustang. And some say the cars get better with each copy they build. And if that's true, then this is the most refined 71 Super Cobra Jet 429 because it is number 613, the last one built. What's more, when the final Ford assembly line worker pressed down on the latch, he closed the hood on a major chapter in the Mustang story, because this very car is the last Mustang to ever have a big block Ford V8 installed from the factory, even to this day. For 72, the 351 was the biggest engine you can get, and then down to 302. The Brothers Collection keeps historic cars like this around for today's generation to enjoy, and we're happy and fortunate to be able to share them with you. These 71 and up Mustangs really seem to be gaining in popularity, and after spending some time with this pinnacle Super Cobra jet car from the Brothers Collection, well, I can clearly see why. Are you a fan? Your feedback's always welcome on our website at musclecarteweek.com and YouTube and Facebook, and we'll see you next time with another cool car on Muscle Car of the Week.